What's a really cheap item you can buy that can make you look incredibly rich? A credit card that is black in color. It doesn't have to be a black card, just black. Or a credit card made out of metal. My Amazon One is metal and people always comment on it and how lux it feels. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you. It's maxed out at 5k. That great t-shirt billionaires always be fucking wearing. Must be the comfiest fucking t-shirt ever. Probably made of nanobots that massage and maintain their skin suits. Apparently three ply toilet paper. One of my friends was at our house last year and after a bathroom trip, she told another friend. Ooh, they've got money. They've got the good stuff. LOL. I think we would all be surprised to realize how many people silently judge others based on the toilet papaya they buy. LOL. In Swedish we have a word called Dumsnal, meaning someone who is overly cheap to the point where it just creates more problems. I think it's very dumbsnall to buy a single ply toilet paper that is uncomfortable and just forces you to use more in each wipe. A small table in your living room with a pitcher of water and two glasses. Just slice some lemons and cucumbers and put them in the water pitcher. I keep mine in the fridge so it's cold. When people come over, they're always super impressed to have water with cucumbers and lemon in it. Plus it tastes good, is refreshing, and better healthier alternative to other drinks you could offer. I work at a wedding venue and we charge $300 for infused water for guests. People are always impressed with it, but come on. Under cabinet lighting. I have rechargeable LED strips that I bought for $30 on Amazon, held up by magnets. They light up the backsplash counter below and scream. I had this custom lighting done by an electrician. I assume anyone with a really weird pet is hiding an immense amount of wealth, even if they're super bummy. Trash bags for your bathroom trash can, instead of grocery bags. I use Target bags instead of Walmart bags, that way it's classy. I can't tell if you're joking or not but I absolutely do this, and I absolutely feel classier just by using this one simple trick. I feel very attacked at the moment between this and the other toilet paper posts, as I sit next to my cheap toilet paper and trash can with a grocery bag in it. On the App Store, there is an app called I Am Rich. It costs $1,000 and all it does is say that you're rich when you open it. Once in a while it goes free for 24 hours. Snag that baby up, and you too can have your friends look at you like you're certifiably insane when you show them the app. We send all of our correspondence out with a big wax seal on it. Looks like we're old money when we send out our Christmas cards. Do you put the sealed letter inside of another envelope? I've always thought that the letter sorter at the postal service will fuck it up. Well you have to send it via Raven. Monogrammed stationery is also not too expensive. The more understated the design, the better. After watching Tywin Lannister do this many times, I really thought about getting my own wax seal but then I remembered that I only mail a letter out like once a year. That was my fiancé's argument, as to why it was stupid to get one. So I said the reason we don't send more letters is simply because we don't have the wax seal. A cheap suit that you then get tailored. It's always better to buy a cheap suit that you get tailored to fit well, than an expensive suit that fits like shit. While we're at it the order of buttoning or not buttoning your suit jacket. If the suit had three buttons the order from top to bottom is. Sometimes. Always. Never. If the jacket has two buttons the top button is the only one you should button. Don't ask me why the bottom button's there I just work here. Extra points for unbuttoning the jacket when you sit. Cufflinks. You will need the correct shirt of course. I wear cufflinks, and it's not really my fault. I was given a pair when I was a groomsman in a friend's wedding, so I bought a French cuff shirt so I could use them. Family saw me wearing the shirt and decided I must like cufflinks so started buying them for me as gifts. I now had a collection of cufflinks so when I got new shirts, I bought them with French cuffs. Now that's all I own and wear for dress shirts. I don't really even like cufflinks. A fountain pen. A bowl of lemons. A decanter. Yes, buy a $14 bottle of red. Put it in a decanter before friends arrive and toss the bottle. 
When friends arrive apologies that the wine has only been breathing for a short amount of time. This makes you seem like a wine snob and if anyone doesn't like the wine it's because it hasn't had time to breathe obviously. I bought a metal razor and a box of 500 blades. It's golden color, cuts nicely. I have a round stick of soap to lather with. And I feel like a millionaire when I use it. It was less than $25. Not an item exactly but good posture. Manners and proper etiquette is generally free to lean and practice and makes you look much more affluent. You see it at weddings big time. Everyone is in a suit eating a fancy meal but it is clear who is comfortable doing so and who is out of their element. Those who worry about stains and spilling on the suit are the imposters. Those who wear them like jeans and t-shirt are the money guys. Spend money on getting your clothes tailored. I'm a money manager. The old school wealth doesn't wear anything that stands out. However, their clothes always have a perfect fit. The flashy guy that comes in with the big watch, driving the sports car usually has a ton of debt. Money talks. Wealth whispers. It's not an item and it only costs your time, and that is being clean. Having a clean car inside and out, clean apartment house and make sure everything smells clean. Basically taking care of yourself shows others you value yourself, and that will make them more inclined to believe you have value as well. Lab created diamonds, they say it can even fool professional diamond dealers. It isn't as cheap as what others posted, but it can still save a lot of money. Charles and Colvard Moissanite. The one I have was $700. Its diamond equivalent is about 10K. Moissanite is chemically different than diamond and has a higher index of light refraction, giving it its fiery, look with subtle bright colors that aren't seen in diamonds. But yeah everyone thinks I got my fiancé a giant diamond, ring is stunning with that moissanite. Winrar. Impress all your friends and co-workers when they unzip files on your computer with the version that isn't free. High-end water. Don't even have to drink it. Just leave it in your fridge forever. Holy shit this baller has six sealed bottles each of Voss and Perrier? I got a nice bottle of water and kept refilling it. People thought I was very particular, but it was really just the perfect size to carry around for my baby's bottles. A key for an expensive car. Then cover a pile of boxes with a tarp and stand next to it in your Porsche gear. Not even a real key. I had a shocking keychain that looked like a Porsche one. It shocked you when you pressed the button. A friend came to my house and wanted to see my new Porsche. A pineapple. You just also have to buy a time machine that would get you a few centuries back in time, and you'll be all set. Rich people used to rent pineapples that would be put on display at parties. Meanwhile, all the servants at those parties were pissed about having to eat lobster for the seventh time that week. Lobster used to be absolutely disgusting before they had methods to keep lobster alive. One of those long cigarette holders. I got one of those for my friend as a gag for his birthday. Funny as hell to see him pull out his Cruella de Vil stick on lunch break. We work in construction. A Harvard sweatshirt. Being underdressed. CEOs wear suits. Actual, insanely rich, people wear whatever the fuck they want. In the Bay Area we have a game called Tech Millionaire or Hobo. Moisturizer, even a cheap one will be enough. Majority of rich people have good skin. Bought moisturizer yesterday for the first time in my life due to dry skin more than ever before. This shit is awesome and I'm never going without it anymore. Cake forks. Although only useful if you can get someone round your house and subtly place one in front of them. Obviously you can't drop them into casual conversation because what person that actually owns cake forks would think about owning cake forks other than to use them. You can never admit to polishing them yourself. Unless you want to put on that you're just a little hard on luck at the moment, and get some sympathy. When you get the guac at Chipotle. And don't even think twice about it. That's my goal financial bracket. You can buy bootleg iron-on Lacoste alligator logos and affix them to any nondescript polo. Boom! Now you're wearing a shirt that looks like it's worth $60. LOL or iron them on to random things. Alligator drapes. Alligator toilet paper. A monocle. A good haircut hairstyle. Buy a random person a coffee, open a door for someone, smile, be generous. Spend more time with family and friends, that's when you will know how rich you really are. 
What is a cheap thing can make you look rich? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.